I'm just going to go ahead and confess right off the bat that collages are difficult for me. Uh, I, I've i tried a lot with encaustic and also, you know, just mixed media collages. And I would say at least half of them are just complete garbage. They just end up looking terrible. And one thing that I found is that the simpler my collages are, the fewer elements there are, the better they look. And I, so I don't know what the trick is for having like a lot of elements in your collage. Some artists can do things like that, that just look amazing. I cannot, I have not learned the trick with collages, but these ones that I'm working on now turned out really well. I really enjoyed them. And I think it's because I just kept it simple. I think there's like three pieces of paper on each one and a few stamps and some ink splatters. And like, that's about it. But what I was really curious about with these was trying these burlap canvases. Now you have to be careful if you're going to be using fabric with encaustic because fabric um, is not rigid. It moves. And especially with stretch canvas like this, you know, there's wood around the edges that you stretch the canvas over, but the center is open and it, it's not supported, which for things like oil and acrylic, it's fine, but encaustic needs a rigid base or it will crack. So if you're going to do this experiment, you need to do these tiny, these tiny ones or, or even smaller. Don't go any larger or you will have problems um, with the flexibility of the burlap or the canvas. If you do want to do burlap larger, then, then stretch it over a, like a full wood board. Uh, and that way you would be able to do it and you wouldn't have any problems. Putting ink in between layers of wax like this is such a great way to create depth in encaustic, but you do need to be careful when you brush the wax over the surface, because if you brush too hard, um, the, the ink will kind of break and split and, and move. Uh, with your brush. So you want to be really gentle when you add wax on top of, of ink, whether it's stamped or brushed on or just splatters, whatever the case may be. These faces were really fun to add. I'm not good at drawing. And so having uh, supplies like this, elements like this that I can add to collages is makes it really fun. Now this is an old calligraphy nib and I really like using it on my wax surfaces. It works very well to spread the ink because India ink is water-based and so it balls up on the surface of the wax. But this calligraphy nib is uh, is great for kind of, it's almost like tattooing it into the surface a little bit. It, it creates um, indentations in the wax that the and, and kind of drills it into the surface uh, instead of letting it just ball up. Um, so it works really well and is a great way to kind of add some writing and some scribbles and, and different shapes and things. So it's almost like you're writing on paper. It is kind of rough on the nibs and you do come away with lots of wax. So you have to clean the nib a lot. But if you're interested in trying this, I would recommend it. I think it's really fun.
I do have some of these supplies on my Amazon storefront. So if you're interested in kind of, if you see like a washi tape or or some of this tissue tissue paper, the stamps that you're interested in, um, go and check out my Amazon storefront. Anything that is still available uh, to get on Amazon, I will have linked there. Now these craft stars are from Umwow Studio. I love their chipboard confetti. It's fabulous. And it's a perfect element to, to finish off these collages. They are th much thicker, the chipboard, than just like a, a sheet of paper. So they require more fusing and more wax. So I've, I've kind of pressed them into the warm wax of the surface. And then I've added some wax on top of it, very gently kind of dabbed some some spots over the pieces and then fused it really well uh, to make sure that they're soaked with wax and there aren't any like weird lumps or anything anywhere. And that's it. That's the fin finishing touch for all of these collages. I'm really pleased with the way they turned out. Uh, I think they're quite beautiful myself. Uh, if you're interested in uh, purchasing these, uh, I will be putting them up on my website uh, with a link below. They are perfect to display on little easels, and they do come with easels. So uh, if, you're, if you'd like to get one, they do have an easel for displaying. You can hang them on the wall as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.